Hello everybody, Anarchist Gauss here, also Sketching Creations, and today we're back on the Portal 2 Workshop, where today we are playing we are playing 12 is the Key by Conk. Now I remember playing this one before, vaguely, and I really I really like this map. I remember it being a really good test chamber. So let's see if my memory can serve me well as I re retake it on again. 12 is the key. As for why it's called that, well, I'll go over that later. Nice little peek into the behind the scenes tube there. It's a white metal tube. And we're in the destroyed chamber. It's got a nice amber lighting to it. It's got like three ambers, one blue light here. So a nice destroyed themed chamber. And that shaft in the middle is important. So right. Now hello. Still cleaning up, Gladys. So, what do you do? You push. Is there... I think we, I think we push a cube. We put, put a cube or a ball through this window. It gets dropped down. It gets a ball. Put a ball, drops down there. So we need a ball for that traction. See what your panels can you affect yourself? That also looks suspicious right there. That probably opens later. Now, before I come out of there and do a momentum jump. So, can I reach that button? I don't think I can. Get a stick out wall here. Thought I'm on a horrible, portable surface. This is a nice bridge. You gonna fix yourself? No? There's a turret on a pedestal. You gotta burn it, looks like. There, you know, those are the panels I just was just looking at. So, right, it's like, give me ball. Right, we start the first attraction we've seen here with this. Let's portal on back up. And deposit ball. So, depositing ball causes ominous music for some reason and spawns us a laser cube. Okay, well, there's stuff down here. Your panel's moving. So, what's down here? A cube button and a corridor. Might there just be a reset corridor? It could be. So, it looks, it looks like this button opens up the exit up there. Okay. Come with me, cube. Go on a small adventure. This... This is open from... this cage here and it's open from the top. But also, you, you can use a portal to put the cube in there. Nah, it raises some stairs. Okay, I just dunk it. Okay, that somehow works. There's, there's more ominous music, but I talked over it. So, this right behind the scenes right here. I kind of like this aesthetic. It's cozy yet unwelcoming. Now the turret's awake. Now the panels are there. So we wouldn't jump the gun. Oh, but also, we can go behind here. Let's smoke from that panel. So what is what is through here first before I go down there? It's a ball return. It stays open though. So that is a first stop return corridor. Okay. So I presume you might be these turrets might be insta kill. The way they're cordoned off. You're different. Are you now? Who's there? Searching. Ah, book, yeah. Into damage. Right, okay. And because I died, the music stopped. So let's, let's do it again. You're not different. You're the same as all the other turrets, so you get to sit in the corner. You get timeout. So, right. So there's that turret removed as a threat. So now we can go over there. There's gonna be a low a low trajectory faith play. Also you can bring portal through there. Oh you can. Or you can portal and then you get the ball from here, it looks like. I think I'm gonna want the ball actually. So let's take that. So now oop, oh. Okay, it goes over. Okay. Oh, I get this now. 
you wait in the corner bowl. So now I have momentum I can use. The matter is what I want to use it for. Let's take a look at the other services here. So, oh, hi. Hmm, that could be a problem right there. So I presume I activate laser, but I also activate you. Is that correct? Yep, you're you're awake now. Turn your back off. Okay, they don't go back to sleep. That's a problem. Uh, was that a mistake? Hi. Sure, I can use ball with shield. There we go. Okay. So I need the laser cube over here to take care of the turret. Can I? I didn't jump. I didn't jump. Shoot. Thank Virgil that cubes are bulletproof. I did make it. Okay, there we go. Made it back over. So I need I need the laser cube over here. So I, th I think I, I think I can do that. Okay. So I need to move my portals. Got the laser cube back. Can you use portals? Yeah, you can. Convenience. Okay. So I need both the ball and cube over there, in conjunction, they will help me defeat the evil that is the turret. Nope. And, die. You don't get mercy. So, alright, so that's cleared. So what does this do? Now we get a funnel. Okay. Okay, well, I just got deployed. So now we have light bridge. So we have a light bridge we can use for things. And we can't go to whatever is above here because channel bandy is too fat to fit through that kind of stuff. Hmm. But. trick here. Okay, so if I unpower this, the light bridge is still there. It's still there. Okay. Hmm. Well, I immediately see how that helps. But it likely will help, because that's why it's there. I guess I could do that. So turn this back on, so I can come, I can go back with the light bridge a bit. So I'm here with the light bridge, so I can go through the return corridor here, and okay, I'm doing things I would suppose. Let's see here. I can't do from here, can I? I I can't do the click which from that which might make a difference, like Yeah no, it's that's not that's not a thing that will be happening any time in the century. Okay, okay I'll move that out of the way. Shoot. So Is that as high as I can get? What? To get a little higher here. Shoot. Now shoot higher. Was there? Was there a placement helper there? No. But stop that. 
Is there is, what, is there, what? I think the replacement helper is here. I think the replacement helper is there, so that messes, it's messing up my plan. Placement cursing, curse, curse you, placement helpers. I'm messing up my plans by making the portals appear more organized. Okay, there we go. Some more height. Yeah, I'm still standing, I'm still standing, so. Uh, can I get any more elevation from here? I can't possibly, right? No, I can't. So that's that's nothing doing right there. So what else can I do then? Let's head back over here and take a look some more at the environment. And don't miss your jump. Oh God, that is that was like a bare edges jump right there. You gotta be you gotta be on top of your game to make that jump. That's right. So. The only floor pro the only floor portable surface is over there. Like I don't think I can get a portal on there from here. So I'm not entirely sure what I could momentum my way into. Like there's not an R4 surface around here, is there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's let's return to the start of the chamber. And assess things from there. So entrance module was no longer part of anything. So I can the only purpose of this little thing right here is to respawn the laser cube, which I don't need to do right now. So I'll dismiss that as a thing to be used. I can use the light bridge to get at that. Like can I get the light bridge up here? Actually can I? Can I do a thing? Can I do a thing from down there? Can I do a thing? I very much can do a thing. Okay. Alright, I had to step in the right direction, I think. So, get this again. Now we're up here with the light bridge. There we go. Simple as that. You just have to pay attention to your surroundings. So it is you can get access to this button and also that ledge again. So pressing this. Oh, you're having trouble there. Well, that turns the light bridge back off. Cool. Okay, can I do a trick? Oh, there we go. Shortcuts. So now. Put ball here to uh, I'm not sure what this section indicates. Then the lo lower one through me straightens out these panels so I can use them for momentum. So let's go get the ball then. It's just right down here. Actually, that's a problem because I need the laser. At now it turns on the laser, and I need the laser to access this funnel. Is there was there a portable service up here? There was. Okay. So I need to make use of this then. Okay. So now I'll just portal straight up there. Ball. Okay, there's a panel here. I should have noticed it. Also, more ominous music stinks, so. I can, I can momentum my way to the exit. Oh, oh right, okay. I, 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 I see, I see, I see. Okay, that, this, that seems easy. So, I need to take this with me. Jump here and drop this in the tube. Nope. Yeah, and the ominous music tried to start. Okay, so... Oh, the screen was going dark there for a second. Well, thank you. you you're so kind. So we orange. 
even tiles all rotated individually. It's neat. So right. I'm gonna flip back over. So now I I can just leave now. I believe. I believe I can leave. Yeah. Okay. That's all good. And is that the whole map? That's the whole map right there. And that was. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making. That was 12 is the key. By what was your name again? Conk. Now let's discuss why this map was called 12 is the key. If we go to the workshop post description, scroll down to the description, you will see. So why 12? Sometimes puzzles need one to think outside the box, wouldn't you agree? This time you have the chance to put that brain of yours into work and solve your way through huge, dark chambers, narrow, narrow corridors, and sleeping turrets. Or are they? Are you up for the task? You sure are. Estimated time, 20 minutes, difficulty medium. And Author's notes. Congratulations and thank you, fellow tester, for playing 12 is the key. My first map created in the Hammer Editor. It's a very nice map for your first Hammer map. I got pl applauding here. Get some applause for you right there. I hope you found the puzzle satisfying and that you enjoyed putting both of your hemispheres to use of your brain. Please tell me your thoughts, complaints, suggestions, or your current mood, and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Comments as well as criticism of the constructive kind are appreciated. It's a major update. Change notes and credits here. Thank you for portals, top hat waffle, start mapping. Yeah, I know what I'm up with hammer. They're conk. Anyways, so this section right here is why the map is called 12 is the key. As you can see, there's a bunch of gibberish here and, and partially coded out message and a message. So I cropped it out. This may look like gibberish, but actually, this is a cipher. And for this cipher, 12 is the key. Now, if I just translate this real quick, I think I remember what it says, but here, I will translate it on the fly for you with my patented cipher solver. 12 decrypt. Uh, there we go. So 12 is the key. So if you Caesar shift all the letters forward by 12 letters, it spells out a heartfelt message. To my love, my dearest, my inspiration, to the one who makes me the better person I try to be, thank you for being so patient through these months with my hundreds of hours of map editing. Forgive me for there, forgive me for there might be more. I love you, Karen. How oh, very sweet. So it's a coded little message for their lover. I presume. It's very nice. Anyways, though, that's that map. I think I'll cut it off right there and just end it on a sweet message. So next time, we'll play some more maps. So until then, my name is Anna Grissigos, also known as Sketching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.